Yo. Uh. So. Back. Anyways, um, so we have uh, Thomas L. Sasser's chapter on the BRD trilogy of um, Fassbender's films today um, from his book on Fassbender. Um, I just want to kind of um, just say a little bit before we kind of get into it uh, uh, any further than that. Um, this is um, a very dense chapter. Um, and so um, I'm, I'm not going to I mean, I'm not going to, I'm going to kind of sort of maybe talk a little bit more about the, the bigger points or the more kind of salient or important points, um, but not go into all of it. Um, I'm also going to let him kind of do the talking for the film, although of course I'm, I'm curious to hear um, what you all thought. Um, and just a quick note on Elsasser, but Elsasser is, um, he uh, was a major figure in German film studies and um, he was a major film um, uh, uh, scholar, period. Um, he actually recently, very recently passed away. Um, so that's just a, uh, I think within the last few months, I um, can't remember if it was the end of last year or the beginning of this year, but um, but yeah, you know, um, it, it, was, it was one of those kind of uh, deaths in the field that, that sort of um, resonated from like end to end. So it's just a little bit back of background, um, but yeah. So as far like the, the kind of major key points that, that I want us to take away from this reading is again, number one, I think this is a good reading, a great reading in terms of kind of talking about historiography. Um, and kind of perfect for us in the sense of how historiography is intersecting with um, film history, especially. So German history understanding German history, how that coincides with film history, which does, you know, give a sort of more sophisticated sense of, you know, why film and culture and art matters, you know, beyond just, um, oh, they make us feel good, or, oh, it's a representation or a documentary, document, documentary, a documentary of how people lived. Um, no, it's like these are also part and parcel of, of, you know, um, the experience of, 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 of just navigating the world and, and film is a, is a way in which we process things as, as well as just a direct participation, especially when we talk about things like, um, you know, all the kind of geopolitics and economics that we've discussed so far. Um, I think a lot of what, what El Sasser says about um, Fassbinder really resonates in terms of, as we'll see at the end of the semester in a few weeks, um, with Korean cinema, with, with the Korean cinema that people are so interested in, in terms of this kind of interesting um, balance and tension between art and kind of commercial Hollywood. And also like European art cinema. But, you know, like kind of the broader questions of, of art and commerce. Um, I also really appreciate, and I think it's important, how this is um, a reading and a filmmaker that's really challenging, if not straight out, um, deconstructing the notion of authenticity, which is so crucial when thinking about um, kind of, uh, you know, uh, I guess when thinking globally um, and when sort of approaching quote unquote other cultures. Um, it, it's very difficult. It's very easy to kind of get up, get hung up in the idea of authenticity. Um, it's very easy for people to sell themselves um, as kind of travel guides to the sort of real, authentic culture, um, and just keep that in mind that like that is also a sort of tendency of movement of you know colonialism and something that Fanon actually talks about in you know his, his kind of anti-colonial, post-colonial. Um, philosophy is of this idea that it's often the colonized or, or the colonizer that kind of pines for the authentic colonized uh, um, um, culture that they themselves kind of you know wiped out. Um, you see this again in, in some Bene, right? And then finally, I think this is, um, and I'll kind of talk about this near more in like the, the the back half of the the, the chapter. This is a, a, a fantastic sort of guide of how to read film. 
And so I get questions all the time, nonstop. Like I'm getting six emails right now about um, what I'm looking for. Um, and, I, and I know we've heard this before, but it's like it's that's you know this kind of enterprise of higher education isn't about making your instructor happy so that they that they give you a good grade. It's about you know trying to work together to improve our kind of skill set. Um, so it's never really about like trying to produce the perfect sort of work that I'm looking for. The, the better way to put it is that like if you produce good work. It, that is going to please all of your instructors, right? But if you if you try and if you try to make me happy, that might not necessarily make you know anyone else in the in, in, in the in the college or even the program happy. You know what I mean? Those two things are very very different. Doing something for someone and for something, as opposed to doing something for its own sake, which is to to produce good work, you know, strong work. Um, having said that, uh, you know, another way like. The way I would answer that question generally all the time is like, what are you looking for? Is like, um, you, you have it in front of you. You know, it's like all the readings are what I've been looking for this entire time. If you can produce anything as strong um, as any of these people, you know, I'll be smitten. But this is a great example, a kind of model example of, you know, how to sophisticatedly and kind of smartly um, read film, uh, if, if I may say so that uh, myself to Elsasser. Um, okay, so... Those are the main points. Let's move on.